to New Day Northwest. You know, as we close out February, we are also closing out Heart Month. And this is a great reminder that there are some simple and holistic ways that we can keep our hearts nice and healthy. Here with more tips is Dr. Madalena Petrescu, a cardiologist with Evergreen Health. Thank you for being here. It's wonderful to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is such an important topic, especially for women, right? Yes. When we're talking about heart disease and all these issues, um, what kind of I don't know, what conditions does heart disease include? So heart disease includes a variety of conditions, anything from coronary artery disease, which is a plaque blockage in the vessel of the heart, or cardiomyopathy, which is a muscle problem of the heart, high blood pressure, you know, heart attack, cardiac arrest, wide range of conditions. I didn't think, when you think heart disease, you think it's just one thing. Who is at risk? I mentioned women. Yeah, there's quite a few risk factors for heart disease, you know, so first of all, you have the leading causes like high blood pressure, mm -hmm. you know, you have high cholesterol, obesity, diabetes, age over 65, mm. family history for heart disease, unhealthy diet, sedentary lifestyle, smoking. You know, these are the leading causes. There's a lot of things. And then so there's some of these things, some of these risks are things that you can't control. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, your age over 65, right, you know, right, your right. family history. Can't really change that. But the other ones are modifiable. You were saying them and I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And I mean, I think it's hard because we, we get involved in our lives, but we really have to think. It's not even about diet and exercise and looking good. It is literally about the ticker. It keeping is. it going. And you've mentioned holistic care before. Can you discuss what that means, especially when it concerns our heart? Yeah, I mean, it's so important. Holistic really just means a comprehensive and well-rounded approach to the patient, mm -hmm. to overall cardiovascular care. So it's an integration of, yes, what are the medications? What are the procedures you got to do? And also taking into account some of the other things that are important, you know, with lifestyle, exercise yeah. habits, stress levels, eating, what is a person eating, sleep habits, all of these are also actively playing a role in the contribution of some of these risk factors for heart yeah. disease, and it's important. You know, this is all very, very helpful information, and we know that there are things we can do. So what can we do right now? If we feel overwhelmed and we think, oh man, I don't even know where to start, what can we do right now to help reduce our risk? Well, there's, I would just say, five things. Okay, five, five things. things. So you got your hand right here. All right. <laughs> so the very first thing is eating a heart healthy diet. Okay. And this is so important because um, when we're not eating healthy, we're actually actively contributing to all the mm, risk factors okay. for heart disease. And when you start eating a heart healthy diet, you can actually reduce the risk of developing heart disease and improve your overall conditions. Can I ask what is a heart healthy diet? Heart healthy diet. So it's decreasing the things that are bad for you. So okay. processed food, foods in high in saturated and trans fats, you know, right. meat sources, you know, refined sugars, or just eating in excess. Okay, all right. Right, and then you gotta increase the things that are good for you. So a whole bunch of greens and leafy vegetables, legumes, beans, plant sources of protein, fruits and seeds and nuts. Okay. So these are some of the things with what you can eat. It's so important. Number t yeah. No, and I was going to say, and I forget sometimes, that, you know, I always, I don't have time to go get this. There is technology available. We can yeah. order ahead, pick it up. It can be easy. Yeah. You said number two is to start moving. Start moving, you know, just, you know, avoiding being sedentary. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to get your, get up, walk around, you know, park far away from the store, you know, take the stairs, you know, just any kind of activity is so good for you. You want to do about 30 minutes a day, ideally five days a week. You know, that is going to reduce your risk for heart disease. Yeah. Um, third is, you know, don't smoke, avoid excessive alcohol. You know, those are the things that increase your risk for hypertension mm -hmm. and heart disease. Uh, stress, number four, yeah. is such a big one. Stress is a big one. Stress actually Im negatively impacts your well-being and puts you at risk for heart disease. Yeah. And when there's chronic stress, you know, people end up using unhealthy ways to cope with the stress. Yep, like that's alcohol, the truth. <laughs> overeating, all those things. Um, and, you know, number five is just get curious and get proactive about yeah. your health. So all these tips for holistic healing and, and preventing heart disease, but we do, what if we have to end up seeing a cardiologist like yourself, what should we know? So, um, Evergreen um, Health 
care is uh, where I'm at. And so what it offers, it offers a very comprehensive and uh, very state-of-the-art approach to diagnosis, treatment, and rehab for heart disease. And so when somebody comes to see a cardiologist, mm -hmm. you know, the first thing you need to do is what is a diagnosis? You got to get yeah. an accurate diagnosis and figuring out what are the risks so you can determine what is the best treatment approach. So you get the proper testing um, to see what is necessary. So we offer that there and we also offer, we partner up with Overlake Medical Center so that we can provide our patients to have access to a comprehensive care. But I also want to point out that it does start at home. Yeah. You know, so that, you know, yes, there's all these things that can be done, but it really starts at home and taking and incorporating some of these holistic approaches. You can start right now. And if you're at home right now and you want to learn more about what we discussed today or get in contact with Evergreen Health, please visit the website on your screen or visit the link on New Day's website. Don't delay. If you feel like something's wrong, make sure you go get it checked out. Meantime, getting people to pay attention to important issues takes a sense of humor and savvy in this digital age, and that's exactly what the Department of Natural Resources is doing to educate. We're reviewing some of their best posts when we come back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Evergreen Health.